If you ride the bus and you were bracing for a bad commute this morning, you were probably pleasantly surprised. The union ban on overtime was expected to leave hundreds of passengers out on the cold on the curb, but had the opposite effect. It was a smooth ride for passengers on the bus, despite the job action. But as CTV's Stephanie Sherlock shows us, it may be getting rocky for the union, which now is the subject of a cease and desist order. I'm not too concerned about it. If they actually cancel the routes, then I guess I'll have to either ride my bike to work or drive. Job action by BC Transit's unionized drivers having a minimal effect on the morning commute. This morning we had fewer than usual pass-ups, and I think it has to do with riders being well aware in the media that job action was coming. The president of the CAW, Local 333, facing bigger issues. A media release Friday prompted a cease and desist order from the company that manufactures BC Transit's recently purchased community shuttles. Ben Williams was given until 3 o'clock today by Grand West to apologize and retract statements made about the safety of the vicinity bus. Williams says that isn't going to happen because he didn't do anything wrong. We have never said that the bus itself is unsafe. What we've always said is we believe it's a lowering of the safety standard at BC Transit. At issue, statements such as this. BC Transit literally had to go to China and get these buses designed and built there to get around higher safety requirements that drivers hold a Class 2 license. We believe going down to where you would now have a lower classification of license, we believe there is a safety concern there. BC Transit issuing an internal memo today to all employees outlining how the company went about acquiring the buses, hoping to clear the air and get back to the bargaining table. BC Transit is keen to get back to the table if mediation is something that you Union would agree to, we'd agree to mediation. It's time to stop the job action, it's time to sign a deal, and it's time to get back to serving our customers. A sentiment shared by riders sympathetic to both sides. I, I can understand where they're coming from and I would I, I just want to see the, the buses back to normal so we can so we can all be happy and all get what we want. Grand West wasn't available for comment today regarding its interaction with the union, but company CEO William Trainer said Friday that further legal action is not out of the question. Stephanie Sherlock, CTV News, Victoria.